2020, man. <laughs> I don't think I'm the first to say that this year has definitely been crazy. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be the first to say that this year has changed who I am. Um, COVID was, I think, a really big eye-opener for me, the pandemic. I mean, just this year in general was just a huge eye-opener for me. It taught me so much. I mean, it taught me who I am as a person, you know, who I am as an artist, and what kind of vibe I really want to bring to the whole world, really. Um, I appreciate 2020 for what it's done for me, personally. It's grew, It's grown me. I don't want to say grew. <laughs> it's grown me into, I feel like, someone who is a lot more accountable, a lot more disciplined, and a lot stronger minded, a lot more stronger minded, especially than I was in 2019. And I just, I really thank 2020 for that. Um, coping with COVID, coping with being alone, especially living alone was one of the toughest things for me because I'm, I'm very much so an extrovert. I love being around people and like being alone really taught me a lot about who I am and, and showed me the things that I needed to work on, you know? I realized that I do have a dark side and I realized that I do have a sad side that needs to be expressed and needs to be set with, you know? A lot of times, like, I'd run away from the sadness or that feeling by going out with my friends, getting drunk or getting, like, super, super high when in reality, like, I just needed to deal with my shit. And COVID made me deal with it. it. I had no other way. It was music, meditation, journaling, and that was my main focus. And I couldn't be happier. Like, it's almost become like a, a habit for me. I know I still have a lot of growing to do. And I know I still have a lot of things that I have to work on. And I know I still have a lot of things that could be better but I'm okay with that. And I think that's what this life is really about, being okay with who you are, being okay with where you are, and accepting it and being grateful for it. Because when you live in that high frequency, when you live in that high energy, things that you want, that you think about all the time, start coming. I started recently diving into like alchemy and learning about how your thoughts are literally messages to God or to the higher power telling him exactly what you want. And he gives it to you in, in basically a way to like make your body go for it, if that makes sense. And I've really been focused on how I'm thinking and where my thoughts are going. I can really say that I love... I love myself a lot more, so much more than like what I did back then. And I love my music a lot more than what I did back then. And I'm glad that everything happened the way it did. I'm learning a lot more self-control and patience, so much more compassion. And I'm learning how to truly be grateful. And I'm so glad I'm able to experience the life that I that I have experienced and that I am and this 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 EP, this album is definitely gonna be a huge a huge turning point. I'm with the team. Yeah. I don't ever stop myself. All I really want is a well thing and only time gone tell. We don't really need no help I'm with the team, I'm with the team, I'm with the team, yeah I don't ever stop myself, all I really want is a